Employees in America are participating in technological abuse almost every day. What I mean by they're participating in is that sometimes they are either the target or the perpetrator of that technology abuse. The perpetrator of the technology abuse is someone who tries to hack through a network that's either theirs as an employee or not theirs as a bystander and a stranger in the community, someone else's phone, someone else's computer, and someone else's life. Their goods, their information, their intellectual property, their copyright work, or something they might have downloaded through a Wi-Fi network. They also might be deleting people's photographs, they also might be interfering with people's social networks, they also might be stealing passwords, and scary enough that peddlers and panhandlers today might be using their immaturity on distraction or subterfuge actions by sitting on a block or working in a, <coughs> uh, pardon me, a chain um, gambling shop so that they can use the time of being the monitor of those places or the sori of those places or the soliciting of people in your parking lot to have their cell phones actually grabbing information off your customer's telephone. We also do know that some corporations illegally and immorally use their entrance security monitoring systems to grab data and information off your cell phone, client lists, contact information, shopping preferences. And nobody really recognizes that today, and nobody really understands that today. Sometimes it can be best to turn your cell phone off when you walk into a store or a restaurant. But we also know that people are addicted to technology today. We need technology today to get any type of employment, any type of job, any type of business, strategic alliance, any type of profitable partnership. And the bottom line is every human being in America has to make a living.